Let me talk, share some thoughts, some observations about why I'm incredibly optimistic about the future of healthcare. We often pick up our newspapers and read the most doom and gloom about the way the healthcare situation is today. Apparently, one in five of us cannot get the appointments we need. One in eight get misdiagnosed. And all those, of all of those of us get, who get diagnosed and treated, apparently anything between 10 to 20,000 of us die every year because of avoidable mistakes. If you now compare that to what happens in developing countries, the situation is far, far more severe. 70% of human race, of the world population, have no meaningful access to healthcare. So why am I so optimistic about the future of healthcare? Because I think four things are happening and are coming for the first time in human history together that will melt everything that is solid into air and will reconstruct a kind of healthcare that will be fundamentally different. What are those four? One, diagnostic is becoming almost free. Only 10 years ago, it would have costed me a million dollars to do top to toe diagnostics. Today, I can do that, including my genome sequencing, for about $10,000. 99% reduction in cost in front of our eyes in the last 10 years. And that is nothing to compare to what is about to come our way. There is a barrage of apps, diagnostic tools, uh, the developments in microfluids that is going to change everything we understand about diagnostics. I'll give you some uh, basic examples. Uh, ScanDo is coming up with a device shortly. I think at the uh, end of October, you put it in your head, it diagnoses you, picks up about 10 different vital signs from you. A company called Cube is coming up with another device early next year that collects a bit of bodily fluids from you, and it's almost a lab in your pocket. I was at Liverpool University the other day and looked at a little gadget they have that they put in front of your phone. It analyzes your breath as you speak for 50 different diseases. Secondly, information is already free on the, uh, for everybody. All of us, whether we are doctors or not, we have access to the entire knowledge of mankind, humankind, on, on, our, in, on our mobile phones. We now have whole source of symptom checkers that have come out there and has, are enabling us to figure out things a lot easier. But more importantly, patients are now through various uh, social platforms can talk to each other. I was talking to a patient, about, to a doctor, or even or as far away as a year ago in Bangalore, who's saying, I'm fed up with my patients coming through the door, saying, why are you treating me this way when I talked recently to somebody on a platform, on a social network, who has exactly my disease in Boston and being treated completely different way. All our children now, in their almost free devices, have the most powerful chess games available to them. There isn't a human being alive who can beat today a machine in chess. And for those who think that's awful, that replaces the doctors, I don't think it does, at least for any time soon. But remember, for those who have nothing, for the 70% of the world population who have no access to doctors, it provides a free, cheap, easy alternative, and we should celebrate it. Thirdly, there is rare the human being today who is not on a mobile platform or doesn't have one. But what they have today is almost nothing compared to what they will have shortly. Our mobile phones are developing at a rate of, fifth, uh, of doubling the rate of their uh, uh, capability every year. That means what they have today is only 50% of what they will have next year, but only 3% of what they will have in five years' time. And it's not just about mobile phones anymore. It's wearable devices, perhaps embeddable devices, devices that are going to be freely available in every aspect of our life that will enable us to collect the information, see our uh, signs, analyze them, use bioalgorithms to give us results on those. And finally, our intervention in healthcare I wouldn't even begin to talk how we can intervene now. I mean, if you look at every area of advance, from nanotechnologies to laser manipulation to you just name it, we can now intervene on diseases in a way, or we will soon be able to intervene on diseases in a way we've never done before. Whether you are an evolutionist or a creationist, the one thing that we all now have to agree is that for the first time in human history, 
through synthetic biology, we can create new forms of life. We can recreate organs. We can build things that we could never build before. 